Hey, today we're doing a worth the price review of the TLB Mallorca 136 split toe blucher. And if you have a little extra money, or even if you only have a dollar, consider supporting the Light the Night fundraiser for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Uh, families dealing with cancer are always looking for support. And this is a great organization that has really touched many people in my life and is worthy. Hey, before we get started, I just wanted to point out that I've organized all my videos into playlists on my channel. So if you're looking for more videos around a specific topic, uh, especially topics like this with general shoe knowledge, you can find all of the videos in one place uh, so that you're able to easily access everything that's out there. Thanks so much. Well, hey, and welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today I'm here to talk about a very cool pair of shoes that I got from TLB Mallorca. This is the 136. Now the 136 is a split toe blucher uh, in this really really super soft uh, suede. Um, now this is a very very fine um, short suede and has a very very soft lining. Um, it is a pie crust apron and, and what I like about it is that it gives you some really good texture added on top of the texture of the suede. Uh, as I've looked at different um, suede split toe bleachers, and I have quite a few, um, it's not common for them to actually be able to pull off the pie crust the right way. Uh, as a matter of fact, even at Edward Green, where they're known for like the beautiful skin stitch, uh, with the suede, they generally do it a little different. And I think that this is just something that I, I'm really happy with the way that uh, TLB has done it. And, um, you know, it's subtle, uh, but it is, uh, it, is, it is quite a good looking shoe. Uh, beautiful cutting. Uh, they've got double lines of stitches throughout. Um, some nice um, swan neck, and, uh, which is on a derby, which is always interesting as well. And just a, a beautiful, beautiful execution. We've got a nice last on this. This is on the Goya last. Um, and these have lasted trees that, that uh, I bought with them as well, uh, which is nice. Now, as part of the Artista line, uh, one of the things that's really cool about these is the narrow waist. And, um, you know, I think that they've done a, a really nice job on that. Um, you'll be able to see the wear in some of the pictures that I'll include here uh, to be able to uh, bring it all together. But, um, you know, this is, uh, you know, a $400 shoe. Uh, four hundred and forty dollar shoe, something like that, depending on the exchange rate. And uh, you know, they've done a nice job of providing some absolutely supreme quality um, for this price. Uh, supreme quality workmanship, materials, everything really comes together very nicely. So now that does not include the trees. The trees, the trees are about sixty bucks more. Uh, but uh, and you can see the the sole wear on this particular city sole um, is really really interesting. It kind of looks almost like shadow. As a, as a wear pattern, um, and the uh, of course the texture on the soles themselves are, are still good. So uh, very nice, very nice uh, fiddleback waist on a on a on a on a rubber sole and a narrow waist, which I've never seen on another example before. And uh, just you know the way these shoes feel, they just hug the feet. They feel really really solid, and uh, just an absolute joy to wear. So. Something to uh, keep in mind as you're uh, looking at different shoes. If you're into the split toe, give the 136 a gander. Uh, and if you're really quite brave, try them in suede. Something a little different, add a little texture to your life. Uh, a lot of uh, gentlemen will look at suede, particularly this color suede, as being a winter shoe. I personally like it all year long. I think that it goes with your, your medium grays and your dark blues really, really well and um, really mixes it up uh, from just the standard dress shoes that we all wear from day to day. So, uh, I, again, for the, for the price, um, I, I find that the TLB Artista line is so underpriced, I, I would probably be willing to pay about 50% more for them. Uh, they're just as good your will to choose go. Uh, you know, best in class. 
uh, for the price as it stands. Um, you know, is it is the design as edgy and as beautiful as uh, Gaziano and Gerling? No. But uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful, well-executed shoe uh, that has many of the uh, characteristics of your much higher-end shoes. So definitely um, economical, um, well-made, um, and a high-end shoe for not a high-end product. So this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and that is my review on the TLB 136.